Hello everyone and welcome back to my Let's Play of the Count Lucanor. Uh, last time we got a bunch more letters. Uh, one of them we had to basically, we had to give him, well Epstein had it first. We had to trap him and with corn and then we had, we bargained with him to give us the letter exchange for us releasing him. And also the, the red guy whose name I cannot pronounce, I'm sorry. He came into the fountain area, which I don't like because the fountain area was supposed to be safe. It was supposed to be a safe place. I don't feel safe here anymore. But, um, we haven't explored any of the yellow rooms yet. I think we've got almost everything from the first floor. I think there's that one room that we have to get through the sewer. Um, I haven't got the letter out of that room yet, I don't think. But, um... Yeah, and we also got a clue about when the two figures up here face each other or something. It reveals the keeper's room or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go to go somewhere and do some stuff now. Oh yeah, and the servants are getting a lot more active in the halls. And at one point, I saw one of them like hiding in the curtains, which is kind of a dick move because that's supposed to be my my thing. Yeah, you you go away. I had to go in here. I had to sneak into this room. I hope nobody shows up in the sewers. That would just be the absolute worst. But, um, yeah. I think this is the last room I have to get anything from. On the first floor, maybe. I don't know, I have to look again. But then we can head to the second floor. Like, I know. Yep, there's the red guy. And of course, it's that chest right there. That's gonna be where it is. I need to figure out his pattern. I am terrified of getting too close to him. I haven't been killed by him yet. But all I know is that if he sees you, you're pretty much dead, so... I don't know if he'll turn around if I get too close to him. I don't know if I can, like, follow right behind him as long as I'm not in front of him. Like, I honestly don't know. Okay, he's looking through his book. And then he walks up to the chest. He opens the chest. Looking through his book again. Walking away, but... How far did he walk away? Oh, that might have been my chance. That might have been my chance. Uh, I'm, I'm scared to get too close to him. I don't know the range. Oh! Mmm... Although if I don't take any risks, I'm never gonna get anywhere. And honestly, I could just- I, nothing's happened since I started the game again. If I die, the only thing that will happen is I'll get very scared. It's locked and there's no way to open it? Damn it. Five candles, thank you. Oh, there's a secret passage here. Where does this lead? Oh, I see. Okay, I think I'm getting an idea of this. Oh, this is going to be irritating, I can already tell. <laughs> it's a fancy clock, but the time is wrong. I'll move the hands a little bit. Oh, I wonder who's playing with the Camerlungo's Cam precious clock. Oops! Time to go, time to go! He left it open, he left it open. You got the letter. Oh, time to leave. Time to leave. I'm not gonna stay here any longer than I have to. Uh, okay, okay. I'm sure there was some extra stuff. Like I saw that uh, that chest of drawers he was looking through. There's probably an item in there, but I don't know if I want to risk it. I might come back later if I if I like need an item from something. Oh, hello. You can go away, please. And did I get this one? Yes, I got that one. I'm just going to double check the entire first floor pretty much to see if I've got everything. I think I have. Oh, hello. No, I don't want to talk to you yet. There's stuff on the second floor I haven't looked at, friend. I'm going to take that as confirmation that I finished the first floor though, so I'm not going to continue looking around really. 
I am going to save again. Because that was nerve wracking. Save soul. Thank you, Mr. Raven. Appreciate it. All right. We're gonna go up to the second floor and I'm going to regret all my life choices, probably. Because we haven't gone up here since the servants started wandering around and I don't have any candles up here either, so. That kinda sucks. Has this painting changed any? This was the... What was her, what was her name? Lucretia? The, the Count's daughter or something like that. I don't like how there's a big, like, blank spot right in front of her, so I'm gonna leave a candle right there. Yep. I'm also gonna leave a candle right in front of this nice, convenient hiding spot. And why not one in the corner, too? There, now the whole floor is pretty well lit up. Let's see what horrible things await us in here. There's an old missive. The Count is really sick. Once he's passed away, we may lower the bar of the trials. Finding a new heir shouldn't take that long. I don't like how there's hiding places in here. That upsets me. Got a gold coin. Got two candles. Three candles. I had never seen a mirror that big. Oh crap. Hey. Uh, hey. I'm Hans. I'm ten years old. Me too. I got trapped in the mirror long ago because I was too curious and wanted to snoop around the private rooms of people. I'll be able to break the curse only when a kid like me looks into this mirror, like you just did. Ha ha ha. Whoa, now I'm in trouble. Whoa, now I'm in trouble. What? What? Huh, that's scary. I better leave this place. Ha 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 ha. How come? Your face has changed. It was a joke. I just wanted to frighten you a little bit. <laughs> you can call me Ambrosius. I'm the cutest magic mirror in the kingdom. Well, you're the only magic mirror I've seen, so you're automatically the cutest. Hey, and have you met the kobold? Of course I've met him. I see his underwear every day. He's quite a shock for my aesthetic integrity. What? Forget about it. I know him well, and as these are his private chambers. Oh, then you surely know his name, don't you? I'm sorry, boy, but it's too late. Too late for what? Time flies in the castle. If you'd come to me before, I could have given you an important clue to know his name. But it took you that long that now it will be useless. I'm sorry. So I should have talked to him before I got all the letters, right? Zowie, what a bummer. At least you've met me. My beauty is legendary. Even birds go silent when they see me. He told me he couldn't help me anymore. I better leave him be. Welp. I know there are multiple endings in this game. And I think I just locked myself out of the best ending. Oh well. I was going to get all of them anyway. What's in here? Two gold coins. There's a missive. One of the soldiers has told me Mish Lucrezia has been taken to the depths of the castle. Who knows what that Dejera is willing to do to have a male descendant. So he's one of those people. They're so desperate to have a male heir that they basically just do whatever they can to get rid of their female children. That's very shitty. All right, room number three. There's an old missive. He's been around witches and sorcerers lately. I don't know what he's planning, but I pity the poor sitting in the throne. I pity the poor sitting in the throne and inheriting who knows what burden on their shoulders. Oh, you can go away, please. Door number four. There's a missive. We'll need to plan a wedding for the count for the second time this year. Balancing the budget will mean more paperwork for us. Few know this, but Lucanor is the traitor king the legend tells about. 
I wonder where in the castle is precious treasure is hidden. Got a gold coin. Yeah. You know, I'm starting to wonder if the precious treasure is his daughter. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Oh, you jerk! You know, I haven't used the ring at all. Like, I was hoping the game would, like, give me a hint on when I was supposed to use it. So I haven't been using it, but... I don't know. Suddenly I'm not sure about anything. Should I use it in front of this portrait? Part of the reason I've been using it is because I have to put down my candle to use it, so... And I like being able to see things that are coming at me. Hey, Mirror, do you know anything about this ring? No. Alright. Do the missives change when I read them with the ring? No. Alright. Well, I guess we'll go talk to the kobold. And we got, um... Julia gave us this piece of paper with what I think is a clue to what the name should be. But I don't think we're headed for a good ending, so... How many layers do we have? One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And he said there were eight. And it kind of bothers me that this one has a different description. Like, I know it's because the merchant gave it to us and we didn't find it on our own, but... I don't know. I'm kind of suspicious of that. Because th theoretically there should be two letters that we don't use. I'm gonna go see if we can talk to Julia again. Maybe she can give us another hint. I'm not here, you didn't see me. Nope, you didn't see me, go away. I'm not here. Hey Julia, help me out, friend. Alright, you already helped me enough, I suppose. I appreciate your help. I wish you could give me more, but I understand. Um, I guess let's see if anyone in the hallway has- I still don't have the key to this, do I? Like, I never found the code for it. I wonder if the mirror would have given me the code. I guess it's too late now. Alright, I talked to everybody in this area and they didn't have anything new to say, really. So let's talk to Cobalt over here. Excuse me, sire. I believe you possess eight of the letters. You are indeed tenacious. Congratulations are in order. Come with me, sire. I'd like to show you something. Alright, I guess we're going. Oh, I can light these up. Why didn't I do that before? I guess because I didn't feel like it. As you may see, you have collected enough letters to display my name. You will notice a device in the middle of the hall. That wasn't there before. What was it for? You just need to place the letters as you may see fit, and press the button to know whether you have guessed right. I understand. This seems easy. A final warning, sire. Whenever you make a combination and press the button, you will lose some health for every missing or misplaced letter. What? Take your time to think the combinations you want to try, as you could pass away should you have multiple errors, sire. Alright. Well, we already know some of the letters, right? Hold on, um... 1836. Um. Would that be 1, 8, and then 3, 6 over here? I don't know. Or maybe it's like, that's 6, that's 3, this one's 8, and this one's 1? 
Because, I mean, it looks like there's space for... It looks like there's space in between where there's like two numbers missing. So that could be these two letters right here. So I'm going to try that one. And I'm almost certainly going to get it wrong. Because, I mean, I, I only know... I can only even guess at four of the letters. This one's eight. I'm sure anyone who's played this game before knows the answer is just laughing at me. Assuming the answer is the same, it might be randomized. Okay. Uh, I'm just completely guessing now. Because I honestly don't know. Okay, I got hurt eight times, so none of these are right. Sire, please remember that no one has stated all the layers you have collected are correct. So, are there fake letters too? No one has said that there are only eight letters in the castle. There might be more, and it could be the case that not all of them are required to display my name. What a bummer, you should have told me before. I regret your discontent, Sire. Oh yeah, I should be using the, um, snake ring. There we go. Well, I'm going to go save, because I don't want to have to redo the upstairs stuff, even though it took like a few minutes, but I have plenty of coins. I don't think I'm going to be using them for anything else, because I mean, we already bought everything from the merchant. Okay, so the L for sure is fake. What did that clue say again? Because I think I just realized what was trying to tell me. When the time figures look at each other, light is shed on the keeper's room. So I'm thinking maybe I should have paid more attention to that clock and at whatever point the two figures were looking at each other, I should have gone to talk to the mirror. Okay, you are fake. And all of these are wrong. I don't remember where each of them were. Um, excuse me, Kobold, can you reset the letters for me? Alright, let's start over here. The L is fake. No L's. There are no L's in your name. Good to know. And now the paper said... Okay, maybe this is one. And I'm probably going to speed this up, because this will take a while. Or I might just skip ahead, who knows. Wait, that can't be right, because the six is the L. What is the mirror for? I never use the mirror. Should I have given the mirror to the mirror? I don't understand. I definitely missed out on some stuff. I'm going to have to replay this game. I was going to do that anyway to get the other endings, but... I guess I'll just put this one in six, because why not? That was completely wrong, too. Well, I might be here for a while. So, uh... I might just skip to when I finally figure it out, because I'm gonna have to brute force it, I think. I'm not smart enough, and I don't have all the clues. No... Oh, I tried using the, um... I don't know, I was getting- I just wandering around trying stuff for a long time because I couldn't figure out his name, so... I tried using the, um, paper on the fountain and something's happening. I'll try and paste Julie's paper above. I see, I see. I- I don't know if I do see, actually. Oh, wait, this is the position of the letters, isn't it?
All right, hold on. Um, I'm actually gonna write this down. Give me a minute. All right, I think that was showing me like, that was like a map of the doors. And like, so I have to go figure out like, this is the first letter, but what, what letter's on the door over here? So I'm gonna go check, I'm gonna skip all this. So you guys don't have to watch, but I gotta go check all the doors and see what order, what letters on each door. And then I should be able to figure out his name. All right, I'm pretty sure I know what his name is now. Give me just a minute. This is gonna take a few minutes, actually. <laughs> nice to meet you, Petronio. Congratulations, sire, for your feat. The name is indeed Petronio. You really have a strange name. It's been really difficult. Oh, believe me, I know. Indeed, this was no easy task, but you have proved to have the wit, skill, and bravery to succeed at such an arduous assignment. This door leads straight to the private chambers of the Count. You may now walk through the door if you wish, sire. Thanks! Alright, oh, a weird name. Yep, that's... It sounds kind of Italian almost, I don't know. I'm sorry if that's rude to Italians. But I'm gonna go save before I go through that door. Because I don't trust it. There's something weird going on in this place. Oh, actually, I went to go check on Julia. And she has something to say. Huh? What? What's wrong? Nothing. I just read something interesting, but it's not related to the kobold. Tell me! Tell me! It seems there's a book on the Count's- there's a book the Count's daughter carried everywhere. Lucrezia? Yes, and I hide some precious clues on the treasure. And where's the book? It should be in the library, but those servants are roaming everywhere. Leave it to me, I can find it. Can you? Thanks a lot, Hans. Look, the book is called From Caterpillar to Butterfly. It has a red cover. Alright, I'll try to find it. Don't take unnecessary risks to retrieve it. Remember, it's not related to the kobold's name. Well, I already know the kobold's name, so we're good on that. Alright, well. Now I'm going to go save, and then I guess I'm going to the library to find a book. Alright, to the library. Which door was the library? Was it this one? I think it was this one. No, it was not this one. It was this one! No, let me through! Okay. Hide under this table for a minute. As all the wonderful whispering continues on. Can you go away, please? Thank you. Much appreciated. Oh, it was right here. That was easy. There you are, from Caterpillar to Butterfly. I'm keeping this. You got the book name, From Caterpillar to Butterfly. I better hurry and take it to Julia. Uh, yep. Bye. 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 I'm leaving now. Goodbye. Farewell. Yeah, run. Run! Uh, uh, gravity is pulling me in. Julia, I got the book you wanted. Julia. Hey, um, is this the book you wanted? Actually, let me read the description of my inventory first. Okay, it was just Lucretia's book on butterflies. Here you go. Here's the book. There you go. You've given the Julia the book. Good job, Hans. I see your treasure hunter material. Thanks. Let's see. It seems an old butterfly catalog. It has some drawings. Wait, what's this? Is that the code to the chest? There's a there's a piece of paper in here. It has the number 8 written three times. It could be some code. Huh. Look, I think it's best if you keep it. I'll keep examining this for more clues. You got a code. Alright, I'll go for a walk in the castle to see if I can find a place to use this. I have a pretty good idea of where that goes.
Uh, I've been waiting for this code for so long. Please work. Please work. I'd be so happy if it worked. Yeah, I know I can try and use the code. Why do I have to actually be carrying- I can remember the numbers 888. I'll try with these numbers. 888. You've used the code. It really worked! I got a butterfly net. A butterfly net? I should show this to Julia. Well, Lucretia did have a book on butterflies. I guess she liked butterflies? Was this her butterfly net? I don't know what we're going to do with it. Besides just give it to Julia, I guess. Um, here you go. Hey, look what I found, Julia! You show the butterfly net to Julia. What's this? It seems the 3-8 three, three code opened a chest in the gardens. This was inside. Interesting. I bet Lucretia caught butterflies with it when she was young. I'm amazed. You really solved this mystery, Hans. You're going to replace me as a treasure hunter soon. Whoa, thanks a lot! So, what do I do with the butterfly net? You may keep it. You deserve it. But what if this is a clue to get the treasure? You should keep it. It'll surely be an important clue, but I think I don't want to know anything else on this matter. How come? I'm scared shitless, Hans. I have to confess, I'm no professional treasure hunter. I have actually liked research more. I've never found a treasure. And you're not supposed to qualify until you find one. Oh, to be honest, I'm scared shitless too. You're ten years old, Hans. Careful with your language. I'll tell you one thing. Since we've helped each other, if I get the treasure and we meet again, I'll give you half the treasure. Ah, oh, will you? Well, I need to find it first. <laughs> I bet you will, Hans. I'll keep examining the books and try and find a way out of the castle. You follow your path. If we're lucky, we'll meet again outside. Alright, so... I feel like this was a side quest, but it's going to be important. Like, they've talked about Lucretia a few times. Like, she's the Count's daughter that's, like, hidden in the basement or something? I don't know. But, uh, I think I'm going to end it here, actually. Uh, we've made some progress. We figured out the Cobalt's name is Petronio. Uh, we... I'm sad we didn't get the mirror's clue. I wonder what that would have been, but... Um, yeah. We're learning more about Lucrezia. I'm pretty sure she's gonna be important to at least some of the endings. But I guess we'll start seeing the endings next time. I don't know how many endings there are or which, which one I'm going to get. Hopefully a good one, because I like getting the good endings first. I do plan on seeing all the endings, though. But, um... Yeah. Next time we're gonna go through the door and maybe become the new count. I doubt it, because things aren't going to go well, probably. But yeah, this game's been pretty fun so far, even though I was stuck for so long on that stupid name. <laughs> I was trying to brute force it, it just didn't work, and I just wandered around and I figured out a clue. Uh. Anyway, that was my own fault, really. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!